beautiful. Hello guys, welcome to the second episode of America. Oh my gosh, I messed up again. Of Euro Truck Simulator 2. And we're gonna be continuing off. So, goodness, we're at level 1. We drove 335 kilometers. We don't have our truck right now, so we're gonna go to quick job and we're gonna choose one. Sorry, uh, I do something here. Options, audio, turn off music and. Turn down volume just a bit. Turn off radio. There, that should be good. Okay, so. Um. Where am I going here? Job market. Quick job. And let's take the Scania, I guess. So we'll take that. Nice little trip. Oh, wait. Is that one of the new trucks? Looks like one of the new trucks, I think. Take, take job. Okay. Well, for some reason it decided to rev up. I don't know why. This one's got a pretty nice interior. Got my trailer hooked up. Well, not mine. And let's go. Oh wait, how do you get out of here? Oh, over. Noob driver. So, um, if somebody can uh, help me out with something, uh, my videos don't really get that much attention, um, and I'm just wondering why and what can I do to make to make them get a little bit more views. Um, cause, like, I'll do whatever needs to be done in order to, uh, in order to get more views. Uh, cause I, I do this to, like, entertain people. Um, 
and I know that s simulator simulation games are pretty popular. Um, so I'm speeding. Shame on me. So yeah, just if there's any like anyone that can help me out. Um, I even added an intro to my to my videos. Um, not all of them, but the 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 Euro Truck Simulator uh, two uh, part one. Let's play. I added an intro to it. Um, the intro I made quite a while ago, and. Basically, mostly my channel is going to be based on gaming stuff. Um, occasionally I make the goofy uh, um, stick figure pivot videos. As I don't know, I, I watch some animations and, and then I get my own ideas from certain things. I actually like this truck. I wonder if I, do I have Volvo unlocked? I wonder. Cause that'd be awesome if I did. But I probably don't have this truck unlocked yet. This seems like one of the higher level trucks. I'm gonna do something before I forget. Photo mode. I'm gonna make a thumbnail. A thumbnail. That actually looks not bad. I like how the truck is in the background of the other truck. They're like passing each other and it's like, hey buddy, hey, what's up? It's like, fuck you, what? Oh, there goes my G-Raid. Okay. So now that I ruined this video for kids, my target audience isn't really kids. Because I don't think kids are really interested in... And I'm talking about really young kids, like five years old or whatever. change. Well, you could possibly go faster, I guess. It seems like they slow down, like they purposely go as slow as they possibly can just to, just to troll you. Okay. Wow. And I guess I didn't even need to make a lane change. I thought I would have, because then it would have put me into the, the, uh, Exit, and then I'd be going the totally the wrong way. It is what it is, I guess. Yeah, that's right. 
You yield to me, buddy. Not run into the side of me. 80. Oh boy. I could change it. So I can go a little bit faster. But then it wouldn't be realistic, because I guess according to this game, truck the truck speed is different than the car speed. Wonder if that email I got was from uh Like here, I'm gonna quickly do something. Thought I disabled this before uh, gameplay, and fatigue. Let's turn that off, and I'm gonna put it on car limit. There we go. I turned fatigue off because I want to decide when I sleep and not the game. There, now I can go 130. <laughs> but this truck is governored at 90, so. Actually. You know what, we'll disable that too. Gameplay. Uh, advanced trailer coupling. Yes, let's enable that. Disable that. is the um to disable the crap let's turn rain probability up Ah, uh, here it is. Truck speed limiter. There we go.
So it's been kind of boring, um, because I haven't been able to work for quite a long time. Um, I work at a hotel and everything's really slow, but hopefully in September it'll, it'll pick up, so I've just been, I don't know. And also another thing is I'm a, a little tight on money, so it'll be nice to get back working. And here we are. So we're gonna park it over there. Kind of an odd place to Make me park. Check her emails here. Okay. Let's take out a loan. And let's go to truck dealers. Ah, oh, I do have Volvo. Where is it? There it is. Is it select a dealer? We're just gonna purchase that truck. And then as we go, we'll add stuff to it. Oh, it's raining. Okay, so now I'm gonna change my just my 
tabbing. There we go. crashed my new truck. What a fail. This looks like an interesting one. Let's take it. There's the trailer. I'm gonna take I don't like using that. I'd rather use the actual mirror. It's not gonna work. I have an advanced coupling on, so. Oh wow. It worked. Okay. You're good to go.
<gasps> oh. Wonderful rain the whole time. <laughs> I, I noticed in the uh, new update, or the beta, that they've added a bunch of new cars, like, for the traffic. Or, at least in, uh, American Truck Simulator, there's new vehicles that I haven't noticed before. There's even a, a gator, like a, a John Deere gator.
well, it was it wouldn't be John Deere, but it was like a little off-road vehicle driving around. I was like, huh. There's a lot of these stupid things. How can you see out of those windows? Like I'm trying to enjoy the ride, but every like two minutes there's a toll booth. Disable that. Use the one right there. I think that Jeep is one of the new vehicles. I think. Well, the rain's starting to slow down now. The reason why I turn the um, the hood off, or most of it, is because um, it feels more realistic that way. I like to use the truck's instruments instead of using something else.
It's a really cool looking mountain. Looks like you can actually drive up there too. Oh, you! Did you see that? He literally just like suddenly broke. Break. Or maybe the game just lagged a bit. I don't know. I think the rain is gone. I said the rain is gone. Or it's spitting. So I heard ETS was also making a, um, not, oh my gosh, not ETS, CS, was uh, also making a bus simulator game, which would be kind of cool. Um, basically just, like, use the same map, but instead of trucks, it's buses. I, I would actually buy that. I'm like really into driving simulator games I enjoy I can't drive in real life um, so I get I basically get all my driving needs from video games oh it is raining a bit so Another thing I just thought they should add would be, like, is, uh, bugs hitting your, uh, windshield would be kind of a neat little thing to add. So as you're driving, you'll just see a random spot on your windshield, and, that, and then they could add, like, implement, um, a truck wash, so you have to wash your truck. Kind of like in Farming Simulator. Farming Simulator 19 is really gonna amp things up. I'm impressed what they've done so far. One of the, the, the two things that I really like is in Farming Simulator uh, 15, when you drove into um, crops, they would go through your vehicle which was really annoying and it just kind of killed the immersion but in in uh, 19 they have actually made it so that the crops actually uh, react to you going through them which is nice and then also they said they added uh, I think it's been confirmed that rain will no longer go inside the cab and the windshield wipers will actually work as well which is another really cool thing because it's kind of th that's what i kind of don't like about games is they add rain but then their your windshield wipers don't work like in gta uh grand theft auto 5 when it rains it like Especially when they have the interior view now, it'd really be cool if the windshield wipers actually worked.
gonna have to fix my track IR, it's kind of messed up right now. Maybe I just do that. Oh, it made it even worse. might have to stop at the gas station to get some Pepno Bismo. Just joking. She is a wet one. So when Farming Simulator 19 comes out, I'm definitely going to be making uh, Let's Play videos on that. I, I like literally cannot wait. I'm so excited. And I'm so glad they added John Deere. It's awesome. I've seen uh, John Deere has its own like little game that I've seen. And I hate to... Like, it looked really really bad um like the graphics look like worse than ps2 graphics um and it just i was like i was like john deere let giants you know add add john deere to their game because i know giants would do a really good job of uh of adding the tractors and they're pretty good at you know animating them and all that so and from what I've seen in, in game footage of the John Deere they they've actually done a really good job uh, the graphics update is really nice too I'm almost tempted to turn on the radio, but I don't want to get a copyright strike for, for it. If I was just playing on my own, I would definitely turn on the radio. The trip should al almost be done here. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Almost missed my turn. Oh! Rain is gone. <laughs> Pretty much right at the end of the trip. Rain decides to go away. And then it dries up in like two seconds.
speaking of drying up in two seconds, I gotta give my girlfriend a call. Just joking, I don't have a girlfriend. And now you probably know why. I have a big, dirty mouth. Okay. Post speed or whatever that said. Here we are in our nice little area. At least it doesn't have me do a ridiculous parking. That last parking job, why would you even park a trailer there? Like if you needed to unload it and you're like yeah, don't park it up against the main door, just park it against the fence. What? Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, just right against the fence. Okay. Uh, uh, it'd be nice if I could zoom into that mirror. And we are at level three. Okay, so that does it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. And like I said, um, if, if there's anything I can do to improve my videos, uh, let me know. Um, because I'm kind of lost. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.